and it is night here in Houston, y'all. Today is um, February 28th, 2022, and it is 8.42 p.m. Listen, y'all. The father been on the road with these videos today. Like, he just been doing his thing. He been showing up. He been showing out. I was just here just praising him and just in worship and just in conversation with him about a particular situation. And my face may look a little, you know, beat down because, listen, when you got to get to that place of just communication with the father, sometimes it just drags the life about you. So listen, I was just having this conversation and this conversation between the father and I, as I'm, I'm talking to him and he's talking back, he's like, daughter, like the battle is already won. What is you fretting for? What is you upset for? What is you concerned for? He said to me, he said, if you could just see the full picture, if you didn't just have the capability of just only seeing in part, if I gave you the whole picture of this story, you would not have one single tear in your eye right now. He said, you would just be overjoyed. You'd be happy. You'd be running. You'd be skipping. You'd be, you just be in your glory if you was able to fully see what's about to come into your life and how things is about to turn around for you. He said you wouldn't even have a second thought about a tear. Listen. The father's amazing, you know, and, and and as he's as he's dropping this into my spirit and and he's telling me that the battle is already won. Right. It's already won. He says, I am with you. The battle is already won. And this very moment that I was in prayer with the father and and we're going back and forth. And then after I finish, um, well, not in prayer, in conversation. After I finished my conversation with him, I was like, you know what? Maybe I just need to pray about the situation, right? Like, that's the next best thing to do when the situation just seems so overwhelming. It seems so hard, and it seems like it's, it's just so much going on. Like, the only thing else you could think to do is pray sometimes. So I was like, you know what? It can't help. It can't hurt. Let me just, you know, pray. So I get to getting into this prayer, and the Father instantly stopped me. He said, stop. What is you praying for? He said the battle is already won. It's time to celebrate. It's time to rejoice. It has already been canceled out. It has already been finished. It has already been completed. What is you praying for? That's like trying to braid somebody's hair that's already in their hair already braided. What you braiding? What is you braiding? That's like trying to shave a bald man a bald man's head. What is there to shave? Right? What is there to shave? That's like trying to write the pages on a book that's already been written. How are you writing when there's already words and letters and the whole story going on? Listen, y'all. The father has done it, okay? It ain't he gonna do it. It ain't he getting to it. It ain't he gonna think about it. It ain't he gonna consider it. It ain't he gonna speculate about it. It ain't he gotta test you. It ain't he gotta try you. It ain't gotta see. It ain't that he gotta see if you're still faithful. He has already done it. The battle is already won. It's already won. It is canceled. I don't whatever it is that you're going through in your life, whether it be a sickness, whether it be a move, whether it be a weight on a kingdom spouse, whether it be um um uh, um the the waiting for something to to come to your you know into your life that you've been hoping and believing for whatever it is whatever your situation is you need to know the father is sending me all right through my own pain okay because this is stemming from my own pain my own thing that i was just going through in this moment and it wasn't my intention to get on and do no video but he was like you going you need to get on and do a video right and so what you do, you be obedient when the father tells you to be obedient. And so I was like, okay, father, I'm gonna hop on and I'm gonna do this video real quick. But, um, through my own pain, he sent me to speak this word to y'all and tell y'all the battle is already won. 
Have I seen the outcome yet? No, I can't be a testimony yet. I'm sorry. Okay, unfortunately. <laughs> I can't be a full testimony yet, but I can't come to you in the midst of my own pain, in the midst of, of my own, um, you know, feelings and emotions and and moral self that I am and, and, and come to you in my own flesh, you know, and tell you that the battle is already won. Have I seen the outcome of this battle yet? No, but Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., with this being the last day of um, Black History Month, right, that they like to give us. But Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he said, I have a dream. I have a dream. And when he gave that I have a dream speech, it was in reference to um, Moses, right, of, of how the father wouldn't allow Moses to go into the promised land. But he took him up on the highest mountain, I think it was, and he showed him what the promised land looked like. And he said, this is what I am going to bless these people with. This is what I am going to bless your people with. This is their inheritance. This is their portion. And although I'm not granting you access into this promised land, I am going to give you the ability to see with your own two eyes what I am doing. Listen. It's already done. It's already done. He hasn't given you the whole picture like he did Moses, but he's given you part of the picture, right? A brief snippet of the picture. You know, a, a, a quick image of what the what the what it looks like. You haven't seen the whole thing yet. But you have to know that it is already won. While the Israelites was murmuring and complaining and stressed out, even though they was being provided for and being blessed abundantly, they still ain't have no sense on earth. And so while they were still not having no sense on earth, the father was all, he already had it worked out. He already had the promised land for them. It was already there in its fullness. There was nothing they had to do but literally walk through the battle with the father. And it was theirs. It's yours. Whatever that thing is, it's yours. You ain't got to fight about it. What belongs to you belongs to you. Can't nobody take what belongs to you. The father ain't going to allow nobody to take what belongs to you. How about that? He's not going to allow anyone ever again in life's history to take what belongs to you because he gave it to you. And he ain't no Indian giver. He ain't going to give it and take it back. I mean, he, you know, unless you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, then, then I can't. <laughs> but y'all get the drift, right? Listen. And so in the midst of me, um, the father checking me real quick and was like, what you praying for? The battle's won. Did you not hear what I said? It's already won. It's yours. It's done. Kick your feet up and drink that wine and celebrate because it's already done. I, 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 I've done it. Not I ain't going to do it. Not, I, not I, I might think about it. I've done it. And so in that very same moment, right after I finished praying and I waited for my um, milk tea with my boba. So it's delicious. I love milk tea with boba, y'all. I do. So anyway, um, I'm sitting in and I'm waiting for my milk tea with my boba to be finished, um, to, to finish, for them to finish making it. My nephew texts me and he, and, and I mean, he texts me, but he's never in life texts me. Like, you know how they send sometimes those shame messages you might get in your messenger and it's like, uh, angels watching over you. And if you don't pass it on, blah, 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 blah. Right. And I don't like reading those because I just feel like they're pointless, okay? But this one on this particular night, especially when it happened in the way that it did because my nephew never texts me chain messages like this. Like, <clears throat> he never does. So when he texts me this uh, message, I was just like, it was nobody but the father because the father literally, literally was just speaking those words into my spirit. And so... At 8.34 p.m., my nephew texts me, and so the chain message that he sent me, it says, Okay, this is a dare. This is for you, my friend. Read this message until the end. It's adorable. 
goes on to say, I sent an angel to watch over you last night, but it came back. When I asked why the angel, the wait, okay. When I asked why the angel said, angels don't watch over angels. 20 angels are in your world. 10 of them are sleeping. Nine of them are playing. And one is reading this message. God has seen you struggling with some things and God says it's over. Did y'all hear me? It is over. The battle is already won. He confirmed it. It's over. The battle is already won. It's over, y'all. He said, the message goes on to say, a blessing is coming your way. And I'm going to just stop right there because you know how them chain messages like to drag it. I ain't about to drag it. I'm not about to do it with that message tonight. But listen, I'm going to just stop right there. And um, hold on, where did I leave off at? A blessing is coming your way. Right there. Pause. Right there. A blessing is coming your way. You ain't got to worry about a thing. What you crying for? What you still trying to pray about this situation for? It's done. It's sealed. Signed, sealed, delivered, right? Signed, sealed, delivered is young. Right? It is all ready done listen you ain't got a thing to worry about i don't got a thing to worry about what i'm trying to pray for a situation that is already one for how ridiculous that's just like the the, the just definition of insanity okay to, to be doing something mess like that the father said don't pray. what you praying about it the, the prayers it's all it, i've heard it okay I didn't. I didn't heard it. I didn't fulfilled it. I didn't seen about it. I didn't saw about it. I didn't. I didn't did everything I needed to do about concerning this prayer request. You don't need to pray no more. I got this. The father says I got this, and what I want you to do, my child, is sit back and watch me work. Sit back and watch me work. Sit back and see when I do it. Sit back and see when I when I when I slay that Goliath for you. Sit back and kick your feet up because I got you. I got this. I don't know what you've been through in your past, okay? I don't know what type of leaning on your own understanding you done done in your past, but, and this ain't a word for everybody. It's for his chosen ones. It's for the ones that's being obedient. It's for the ones that have been put through the fiery furnace and done been scorched and, and burnt, okay? This is a message for those ones. For, the, for those ones who, who, done, who done been through some things and now they standing by faith and they have accepted the Father's will for their lives. He got you covered. I don't know what type of leaning on your own understanding you done done in the past, but you got to know that this time, this is not your own understanding. It's the Father's and he got this. Do you hear me? He got your front, your back, your sides. You're up, you're down, you're round. He got this. You just have to be patient. Just be patient. Everything is coming together just as it should. In its appointed time. In its appointed moment. So whatever it is that he's telling you to do, focus on only that. Don't focus on the situation. Don't get caught up in all of that. Because it don't concern you that now you meddling in the father's business and he don't need you meddling in his business. He's he's pretty good at going to see about his own business. Unless he asks you to meddle in his business, then that's a different story. But he got this. He got you, boo. You ain't got to worry about a thing. For the first time in your life, you don't got to try to figure this out for yourself. For the first time in your life, you don't got to try to work this situation out for yourself. For the first time in your life, you ain't got to do this thing alone. In fact, you don't got to do it at all. The Father got this. He got you. The battle is already done. It's already won. <laughs> The race has been fixed, okay? You will be crowned champion. So yeah, I just wanted to go on real quick before I go into this grocery store and give that quick word. <laughs> Listen, I just lift up my spirit, my whole soul, okay? Giving that word real quick. 
So until next video, I will see y'all later.